are going to discuss the seventh problem. In seventh problem, you are instructed to prepare both trading and profit and loss account because he said from the following information, prepare profit and loss account. The, the possibility of preparing profit and loss account arises only when you have gross profit. So in this problem, you are not given gross profit, but you are given the information related to trading account. The information related to trading account. So we have to, in order to prepare PNL account in this problem, first you have to prepare trading. So whenever you have to prepare both, we generally write combined trading and profit and loss account of so and so person for the year ended. Since there is no mention of any person's name here, I am going to ignore that. And similarly, no year or date is given, I am going to ignore that. Then, based on the information, first you have to separate the items related to trading account and the items related to profit and loss account. So, what you do is, as I read out, you mark or underline whatever I am reading out. So, I will be reading out the items that come in trading account first. So, opening stock, you underline purchases, next item, sales, after that, underline clearing charges, then closing stock, then wages, then purchase returns, followed by sales returns and customs duty. So, I hope you all have underlined these items. Then, these all are the items which fall under the category of direct revenues and direct expenses. So, these direct revenues and direct expenses are to be taken in trading account. So, let us start with trading account. Opening stock 4200, we would be taking on the debit side. So, opening stock 4200 on the debit side of trading account. The next item is purchases. You do have purchase returns, so take purchases in inner column. Two purchases in a column, rupees 7700. You can minus purchase returns from this. So minus returns. How much is purchase returns? The amount being 200. So the net purchases, you will write it in the outer column, which amounts to 7500. The next item is sales. So sales will be written on the credit side. So you write sales. Similarly, sales returns are there. I am going to write sales in inner column. So sales being 15,500. So let us deduct sales returns from it. So minus returns. Let us see what's the amount. The amount is 300. So from 15,500 minus 300, 15,200 net sales to the outer column. Next, we have closing clearing charges. Clearing charges is a direct expense. So take it on the debit side of trading account. So clearing charges on the debit side, the amount being 400. Next, you are given closing stock. So closing stock appears on the credit side of trading account. So closing stock, the amount being rupees 4,000. Then we have the other item that is wages, which comes on the debit side of trading account. So two wages, debit of trading account, the amount being 750 the amount being 750 next after wages you have your customs duty customs duty again comes on the debit side of trading account so custom duty debit side of your trading account the amount being 600 600 